UGD coming at you with the HKP30 SK 9mm. Oh, yeah, it's a right caliber, fellas. <laughs> I love this gun. You know, we had the VP. We've got the P30. Uh, special thanks to my friend, The Bucket. He loaned us this. Midwestern Coin and Gun. Guys, that's in Wichita, Kansas on West Central. Go see John. He was nice enough to loan this out because we have this one in the, in the stable. And so let's run them together. And this is a great gun. This is a great gun. They're great guns. I mean, H and K has absolutely nailed it on these. Give you a quick rundown of this double action, single action hot rod. 2015 is around when they came out. Six and a half inches, an inch and a third. Uh, height on is four and a half inches. You've got a three and a quarter inch barrel. It is polygonal groove. You're welcome. 10 plus one on the capacity. 26 ounces on this hot rod right here. This one's 24 ounces. So this is a couple ounces heavier. So you're around 30 ounces fully loaded, 30, 31. $500, 450 on the used market. Uh, you know, five fifty, six hundred dollars that we're going to see new, and uh, yeah, they are well built, and they're worth every penny of it. Uh, this one, yeah, got a decocker. Love my decockers, guys, absolutely. Ambidextrous controls all the way around, and what makes this one special? These grips, yeah, three panels, side panels and back panel, three different sizes. You can get this gun to fit you if you put it in your hand, and the finger grooves don't bond you. You will make it perfect for you, absolutely. Now, fit and finish, excellent, absolutely excellent. Safety on it, very positive. It is ambidextrous. It is very positive. If it's something that you need, it's there, and it feels easy to get on and easy to get off with just your thumb. Slide in action, oh, yeah, feels great, guys. I mean, they really did a good job on these. It's not oversprung. It, it's easy to get and manipulate. The slide lock's big and long, yep, big and long, in a good position. Don't have to do any adjustment on your grip to get that slide to drop. The grip, like I said, you can make it perfect for you. Point of aim, guys, very natural on these guns. Yeah, easy to get up on that first shot. I just drive it, find that front sight real quick, and boom, boom, boom. Second, third, very controllable for this size of gun. Super controllable. Part of that is the grip, getting up on it. Probably the weight helps a little bit. It you know, just runs really, really good on those second, third shots. Failures, none. It's an HK, guys. These things just absolutely run. I've never had an HK that did not run. Negatives. I really don't have any. I mean, that, it just is what it is. If you're not a hammer fire guy, that's your negative. But you cannot fault this gun because that's how it was built. And speaking of that hammer, this is what I really was impressed with. And I'm going to show you some video. I worked on that double action. And typically speaking, it takes me about a mag or two to get through where I'm feeling comfortable with that double action. First pull on this thing is very smooth, very easy. I was on target. Yeah, it, it just absolutely worked for me. The single action, a little bit of take up there. But the clean, clean break, guys. Absolutely clean break. Now, the reset on this thing, yeah, it's there. It's a little bit long, you know, because it is. And then there's a little bit of a take up there. And then you're back to that clean break. All in all, this is a really, really well-built gun. If you are in the market for a hammer fire compact, this is it. This will get the business done. This is UGD coming at you with the HKP30SK and the 9mm. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you think, wow, he's lost his mind, hit the thumbs down and please subscribe.